Some of you might know what this is. This is known as winterberry, and it really is a winterberry. There's also fall berries, but the fall berries usually drop before winter gets here. The variety of this one, which is one of my favorite, is Marilyn Beauty. And it is a holly, but it's a holly that loses its leaves, so it's really not a true evergreen. And you can go in the winter months and prune this one without any problem at all for your decorating. And so what we'll do is we'll just cut two stems here and then I'll take you to some fantastic evergreens that you can also trim for your holiday decorating. You can grow all your own evergreens and plant material to harvest during the winter months. Now, winter months is not the ideal time to prune most of these things but we're really not pruning. We're going in by hand and selectively pruning out small branches here and there. With most evergreens or many evergreens, you can only cut them back so far. This here is a Swiss stone pine, and on pine trees, you can only go about three years back into growth. And if you go back four or five years, you're just going to leave stubs that'll never produce new greens. And here on this camisipris here, I just cut a, a long branch. And as you look inside the branch, there are still buds and growing areas that you can prune up to. But again, I'm only going to prune pieces like this, nice and short, which still allow for more growth. Within this area, we have other types of camisipris and cypress. We have junipers. We have uh, dwarf blue spruce. And uh, we're going to go to one of my favorite junipers, the Hetzai juniper, which you can cut back hard. And you'll learn this over years. So you don't have to go and ask your neighbor, can I go ahead and prune a few evergreen pieces? You can have this right in your own backyard. This is a big growing juniper. It's known as the Hetzai juniper. And it is one you can cut back and it will regrow. And I'm just gonna make a simple swag. So I'm gonna come in here, cut this like so. It's that easy. And then I'm gonna take some of the other evergreens and they would just be wired on right where my hand is. And if I want, I can go ahead and add some red berries. That'll be wired just like that. And a nice bow put right here. And you just take this and you hang it on your door. Real easy, simple. It's an arrangement you can make in just a couple minutes. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to inthegardenradio.com.